Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Japan. Today we're going to do a video review of Real Action Heroes number 100 commemorative edition. It's the 30th anniversary of Kamen Rider. I know it says Mass Rider because that's what Kamen means. The Mass Rider. This is the very first one from 1971. Let me show you. Look at the box. It actually comes with a sleeve. Look at this thing. Mask Rider. 1930th commemorative edition. Yeah, Medicom RAH 100. Yeah, not only was it a 30th commemor commemorative edition, but that's a side over there. Mask Rider, look at that. Yeah, actually, you can see his ugly face, and I'll show you how to take it off. He's come with a belt and everything. I don't, I don't see the extra pill yet. He got like three pairs of shoes and or uh, shoe, a pair of shoes and three uh, whatever those things are, gloves. Yeah, Mask Rider, a sleeve for crying out loud. That's in addition to the box, which let me show you. That's right, that's Hiroshi Fujioka, the guy who played the first Mass Rider way back when, back in 1971. This is the 30th anniversary. It was released back in 2001. So, yeah, Mass Rider's been around since 40 years. There we go. Mass Rider. I'll be referring to this as Mass Rider. You can call it Common Rider, but this is the very first one. That's that ugly one. Let me show you the beginning. Uh, there's the side of the box again. You get two boxes. That's how awesome this thing is. <laughs> I'm gushing about it because look at it. It's awesome. That's the first common ride in the f back in 1971. Look at that fro. He's dealing that 1970s fashion. Look at the inside of the box. I don't know why it has chains. There it is. Mask Rider. First one. Whew. Goodness gracious. But I'm not done yet. I want to show you this. It came in with the box. There's the first Mask Rider. Yeah, look at that. So, yeah, you got a little bit of accessories, boots, gloves, what have you. And there's good old Hiroshi Fujioka. Played Takeshi Hongo. Don't get any confused. So there's a few of these things. Uh, hey, I remember her. So there you got a few of the common Rider things, the prices. And guess what? This thing was 19,800 yen back in the day. Look at the anime. Get a cool thing. This is Common Rider right there. And just to show you, look at that. It debuted April 3rd, 1971. Cute looking girl there. Hiroshi Fujioka, that's the dude's name. Alright, enough about that. Got a lot of extras. Size comparison time. There he is, my boy Optimus. So he is about 12 inches tall. There's good old Megatron. Ta da! So he's a 1 6 scale. What else can I say? Whew. Oh, enough about that. Boy, I'm gushing about this guy because he's looking good. Look at that. Look at that mask. Look at the bug eyes. Look at the antenna. The antennas do seem to fall off, though. That's the only thing. The attention to detail is really good. I can't seem to get this darn, uh, what do you call that, scarf in view. It's just a little piece of cloth. They could have done a little bit more. Uh, I mean, it's in scale with a lot of the hot toys. I love the zipper. I love the belt. Look at the detail on the belt. One thing I wanted to show you, I mean, this is made back in 2001. And if you can tell, it's upside down, but you can tune it. The switches don't work or anything like that. But it is a dial. Hey, this is 1970 technology after all. Have them upside down. So you can probably read them a little better now. That's okay. I love the detail on the belt. It does clip off. And then one of the antenna, both the antennas fell off. Because it's a pain to keep those little antenna off. So good detailing. Annoying kids in the background, but that's okay. All right. As far as articulation, very good articulation for a figure for 2001. They went all out. I love the detail on the bug eyes. And I love this little green, little emerald. So it's really nice. In fact, let me take the mask off so you can see what this boy looks like. <laughs> I am the claw. Whatever. Oh, His head, however, is spongy. It's the only thing I don't like. That's how a boy looked like. Hiroshi Fujioka. <laughs> I know I'm going to say that guy's name. He even had the bushy eyebrows. So good detail even if it is that. Nice thick lips, big ears, even if it is squishy. I wish it was harder, but oh well. Neck, or sorry, heads on a ball joint. The neck actually cranes. So you got that point of articulation. The arm actually can move in and out, and I'll show you. It's got a weird joint right there, if you can tell. So it actually can move it in and out. The shoulders on a ball joint itself, bicep swivel, double jointed, that's right, double jointed. And see, <laughs> the gloves come off. So it's kind of weird looking, the articulation for the wrists 
is <laughs> that <laughs> yeah it's kind of weird but it moves sort of kind of so yeah he has abdominal abdominal crunch waist swivel waist does swivel as you can see hips on a ball joint double jointed knee oh yeah uh, it could move some more you can take out the, the the feet but I'm not going to I'd imagine there's some kind of articulation I wish these had some zippers but other than that good looking vinyl good looking plastic I love this uh, whatever this is on the top man you know what I'd give this bad boy a 9 out of 10 you know what's stopping me from giving that that 19,800 yen price tag goodness gracious that's almost $200 Whew, I wouldn't pay that much for this guy so I'm gonna have to knock this guy down a peg 8 out of 10 but man I love this guy 30th anniversary you get all the stops from RAH and especially from the figure from 2001 so they did a great job about this guy Whew, that's all I got youtubers and I'll catch you all next time